So today I'm going to be doing an easy maintenance trip on a doodle. Um, this dog is a pet, so he's, he's outside, he lives, he gets dirty. Um, we just need to clean him up and get him looking nice. Uh, so it's easy for the owners to keep up with him and keep him clean. So right now I'm going to be using a one blade. I'm just going to take this, see what this takes off. He does have a little bit of a sparse coat, so I don't want to go too short. If I go too short, I'm going to show skin, which I don't want to do. I'm going to start with a one and see where that goes and then go from there. And I'm just going to take this straight down the back. And I'm using the Andis Pulse ZR2 with the Andis stainless steel combs attached. With him, I'm not gonna be leaving legs longer like I normally would. He's got pretty short as it is. So we're just gonna follow that all the way down the legs with the one comb and even that out. all the way down the body, under the belly here. So it looks like I can probably go a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna bump this from a one to a two comb. So I can go a little bit shorter. It's just not getting enough length off for my liking. It's okay, Petey, good boy. comb all that out. It's always important to comb after you've clipped. The comb's going to pull out any sticky outies that are in there. There we go. That's what I wanted. It's always good to start long and work your way shorter. Can't put the hair back on. It's okay, Petey. I do not back comb, no. Okay, PD. I'm just gonna follow this blade down the legs. It's okay, PD. All the way down. It's okay. It's all nice and clean back here. And by taking the comb attachment down the legs, it's gonna save me a lot of time, especially in the shop. Uh, I'm not gonna have to do all the extra scissoring. This is just a nice, easy maintenance personality trim. He's normally kept pretty short anyway, so we're gonna keep him that way. It's okay, Petey, good boy. I typically with a lot of the doodles that I do is I do take the same comb attachment that I'm using on the body and I'll zip it down the tail just slightly. It helps keep the tail mat free, keeps it cleaner, and they don't usually come back in the shop six or eight weeks later with a dirty rear end from not being cleaned. It's, don't get poop or anything stuck back there. You do have to run this over a few times if you want to get it nice and even. A scissor spray, combing, all of that is important. I am clipping in the direction that the hair grows. Oh no.
fell on the leg. And I'm just going to pick up the foot by the knee and just scoop right on down the foot. But I'm supporting the dog's leg. I'm getting all that hair off the hock. And pick up this front leg and I'm going to go in the direction and scoop all this hair off the belly. Some people like to go in reverse on the belly. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, it just depends. His coat is kind of sparse, so if I take a tube comb and I go in reverse, it's probably going to show a lot of skin. It's okay, Pete. Good boy. I'll just get all that off. On pets, I normally will take the, the blade and start from just behind the occiput, which is right here at the top of the skull. I'll take my blade and I usually go down a couple finger lengths and that's where I'm gonna start that. I wanna leave some of this hair to fill so I can use it when I'm scissoring the head. So I wanna take that too short up there. So we're gonna go just a couple finger lengths down from the top of the head and just scoop all of that off. He's got a couple little rolls right here, so when you're going down with the clipper and you hit those rolls, just simply move the dog's head forward and that'll stretch out the skin so you can get a nice even cut. And straight down. Okay, you stand up for me? Good boy. Usually move the ear out of the way and I'll skim just around here. And then right from behind the ear where the bell of the ear is, I'll take the clipper and I'll follow that right to where the jaw starts. They don't need all this coat, so take it off. This is typically where doodles get matted. So if you don't wanna get them in next matted, take it off, they don't need it. And usually the owners don't even notice. Skim just behind the ear. I'm not taking too much off, but I'm just taking a little bit off. Again, the matting really happens a lot behind the ears on doodles. Now he has a little bit of a silkier coat than a lot of the doodles. He doesn't have uh, the poodle coat. So he's probably more prone to getting those like pin mats and that sort of thing. You can just avoid that. And then he doesn't have to come back in the next time and shave all that bald. I'm just going to come straight down the chest. All right, TD. Stand up for me. Good boy. I'm just going to pick up the leg and take this straight down the leg. It's important to note that your dogs are completely brushed and combed through. Any little tiny knot or mat can get caught up in the comb. The comb can pop off and then you end up taking a 30 blade down the dog's leg inadvertently. It's okay. Okay. Good boy. I'm just scooping in the armpit hair, I'm not digging in there. I'm just getting the top hair off. You can go back and thinning shear that out later. Okay, Petey. After I'm done with all of that, I will take my scissor spray and I will spray the coat, comb it through and redo the work just to make sure that I got any flyaways that are stuck in the coat out. Scissor spray is very important. It really helps keep a lot of that static under control. It helps pull out any of that dead hair, any of the hair that's fallen 
uh, into the coat as you were clipping. And then the comb will help pull any of that out. He doesn't look like he has a whole lot, so that's good. And then I'll just run that blade right over him again just to get any excess hair that was stuck in there off. And this is important because if you don't really do any combing on after you've done the original clipper work, you can end up with lines, uh, dog goes home, shakes, and then all the hair kind of falls out, falls into place, and you've got, you know, all of a sudden you'll notice the dog comes in next time and they've got a half an inch long extra hair there that wasn't there when they left. I'm happy with the sling. It's really important to evaluate the coat before you start deciding to choose on the length that you're going to use. Some doodles have more of that wiry coat and once you start cutting into it, all of a sudden it can go really super short and you didn't mean to go that short, but it's just because the coat is so thin it looks like it's that short. So I would probably choose like a zero or something a little longer so it's not looking so short. It's okay, PD. Good boy. We're just going for an easy, low-maintenance trim. And that's all I would do for the body. 